Hello, I'm Nick Mitsovich, the Director of the Art Gallery of South Australia and the Curator of Dark Heart, the 2014 Adelaide Biennial of Australian Art. This exhibition taps in to the heart of a nation, looking at 28 stories that make up our world today through the eyes of Australian artists from across the country. Well, the dark heart is not, is not just dark. There's lots of shades of grey. There's also glimmers of light. And I think this exhibition explores all of the nuances about the things that we don't necessarily want to talk about, the stories we don't want to fully tell, the emotions that we don't necessarily want to expose. It's an exhibition that hopefully makes you feel and think. This exhibition isn't about art. It's about the world we live in through the eyes of artists. And I think that's an interesting distinction. It's inherently narrative. And so when you look at this exhibition, it is about the stories of the world we live in rather than art looking at itself. And I think that's the distinction for this biennial, that I purposefully selected art and artists that weren't necessarily inwards looking, that were about looking out into the world. And uh, the exhibition isn't necessarily linear in the way that it tells the stories. It's about experiences. So I've grouped together artists that I feel have uh, a sensitivity to each other's work, one that's an extension of the next. And so as you make your way through this uh, large exhibition, you'll come across works of art that hopefully will lead on to the next. And, uh, and in the end, it's a, it's a story that hopefully unfolds in a logical manner um, and one that pulls at your heartstrings in different ways. Behind me is this extraordinary picture by Ben Cordy, some eight metres in its scale, immersive, looking at Australia as an island. And in front of it, um, 22 life jackets carved in Wombi and marble by Alex Seaton continue the notion that we are adrift within a wider world. Uh, these two works pull at your heartstrings in lots of different ways. Quilty looking at history while Seaton delving into the topics of today, both potent forces within this exhibition. Rosemary Lang brings us images full of raw emotion and juxtaposed with the photographs of Rosemary Lang is a collection of some 250 spears by the men from the Jala Arts community and the spears hover over your head and the tension that, that creates is in itself a potent emotion. One of the interesting things about Australian art is that it's always about, it's, it's, it's been about storytelling and the best art if we look back in time is about telling a story about a nation or a, a colony, um, or our, um, our birth into the wider world, our connection to the wider world. So the most vivid art from the past is about storytelling. And for me, that's one of the most important threads of contemporary art that um, still, for me, the most potent work that we produce in Australia, again, is about storytelling. It's about um, things that, that revolve around the world that we're in right now. And it's a reaction to those things, be it political issues or reviewing history or looking into one's personal stories. They're all things that I think uh, are really important in the world and uh, important to audiences. People love stories and I love telling them. This show is about telling stories and the most important thing is that this is a group of potent Australian artists. If I could ask a kind of maybe a, like a simplistic question, but like where, where do you think that potency is coming from? I think that the potency in Australian art is about our, um, uh, our retrospective view of history. We're, we're constantly reviewing history. We live in an extraordinarily beautiful and exotic country that is full of contradictions. You know, we live a, a very much a, a Western European lifestyle where we're rooted in in Asia, um, overlaid with a civilization that's the longest surviving one in the world. So Australia is full of these contradictions, so it's rich in the ways that the stories of our time can be told. That's what I think is really compelling about Australian art. Also, Australian art isn't a bubble anymore. It's connected to the world. The artists that are included in this exhibition aren't just Australian artists. They're artists making work about the world we live in. They just happen to reside in this extraordinary country called Australia.